I must get out of here before Fatso discovered that the, those Kongs are recovering the blueprints to a stupid machine. Fatso, is it? I'd choose your last words more carefully if I were you. What's that? Who's there? Oh my god. What? Any last requests? Ugh. I don't think I can make it. I can't run any further. Let's just slowly back up towards this wall. Nearly there. I'm almost safe. I think not. Oh my god. I just love the way that thing barks. Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong 64. In the last episode, I was a major asshole and preluded to this world for an entire video and never got there. Now the thing I love the best about this world, and I'll wait until I get up here to tell you about it because you can't really see it properly from down there, is the moon. The moon is like the ever stationary presence in this world. It is basically your guide to which direction you're going and stuff like that. Um, I'm probably not going to go and get those coins. I die a lot in this world. There's a lot of falling off of the pit. Like, as you could see, like, right as we got into the world, there was, like, frickin' stupid platform thing that makes me nervous, like, every time I walk across it to even get into the world. Like, it's ridiculous how, how creepy it is. I guess it probably benefits that this na world is named Creepy Castle, but I'm gonna come over here, because this is one warp, and, uh, yes, I know, like, I'm just going in circles for now, like, riding on cars, except I'm not actually riding on really anything, except for these platforms, but I don't know why I felt the need to say that, but either way, I'm gonna come and get these Donkey Kong bananas while I have it on my mind, because I will completely forget if I don't get them, like, right now. Um, Donkey Kong can get a large portion of his bananas by just walking, like, up this castle in this world. Like, I think you can get 40. I'm not entirely sure. It might be 50, actually. But I'm just going to get them right away just while it's on my mind. And uh, there was a door down there in front of the one warp. I'm pretty sure that's where I want to go because I'm looking for Funky Kong. Because you can't really do that much in this world until you get Funky Kong, as odd as that is. We already have, like, a gun and whatnot, but, like, Funky Kong is, like, the one dude that's just like, Hey, I make your life easy here. Um, and what is, what is below me? I want to see what, what's below me for... Oh, that's... This is, like, over here, this is, like, the main hub. And I'm gonna go and get all these warp pads revealed before I go and do anything else. Uh, Funky might be down there, or he might be in the door, like, in front of the one warp. I'm really not too sure. I just like to follow the Donkey Kong bananas as soon as I come into this world. And can I just say how awesome the music in this world is? Because it's got that weird accordion thing going on. It's also got like the snapping, like the... I, just, I felt like I just broke my finger when I snapped my finger there. Like that was... that hurt a lot. I don't, I don't know why. Uh, that's a Tiny Kong thing. And for the record, there are two Beaver Bother minigames in this world. You haven't seen Beaver Bother yet, but it is the most painful thing in existence. Um, but you see it very, very soon. Trust me. By very soon, I mean like maybe today. Not today. No, I'm not gonna do that today because that's I'm not mentally prepared yet. I just can go see Candy Kong because I need someone to soothe my dick. That's just that just sounded really wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but basically, like, what I'm gonna try and do in this video is I'm gonna try and get to, um, Candy, Lank- Well, Candy Lanky? No, Candy Funky and Cranky as soon as I possibly can. Because, like, they each have upgrades for us that, like, well, Candy Kongs isn't, like, terribly, terribly useful. But, like, uh, Cranky Kongs is. And I don't know why I didn't switch to Chunky Kong there. Um, what's here? I mean, is this, like, the way out? Yeah, that's the way out. Okay, well that's where that comes out. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back and go through there with with Chunky Kong because why the hell not? But uh, Funky Kong's place is like the one place where I can never find it. So I'm probably gonna go for uh, for Cranky's first uh, and just sort of like 
loop back to to the two warp. I don't I don't really know. It's it's hard to describe what I'm doing. But oh man, like I just love this world, and uh, I sort of learned how to play this on the piano at one point in my life, and I don't think I remember it. Like I could I could try and like figure it out. It's not that hard. But, at the same time, I'm not very good at piano, like, I've never taken piano lessons or anything like that. Which, um, if anybody saw, like, my Earthbound LP, like, I, I did a, a, um, an intro for that. Which was, like, uh, one of the main themes from, from Earthbound on the piano, with, like, a fade-in and stuff like that. And that was sort of like an announcement video or whatever. But, uh, if anybody remembers that, it's, it, it's the first video in my Earthbound playlist, um, on my channel. Uh, basically, like, that is pretty much the extent of my skill on the piano, which is none. Like, I I cannot play the piano worth shit. And don't ask me to play anything for you, because I will... Well, I won't refuse. I could try, but, like, it won't be very good. Like, I, I could play a few simple songs. Like, I could play, like, Drugs or Me by Jimmy World. Like, I like that song. And, uh... Like, that, that's, like, something that I have a hard time playing. Um, I can play, um, what's, what's it called? There's a Nine Inch Nails song that, uh, that I can't remember what it's called right now. God damn it, this is gonna drive me nuts. Um, actually, you know what, now that I think about it, I think Funky's down here. That was convenient. I, that was a total guess as to where I was going there, but, like, apparently that's where Funky is. I don't know if that's Diddy... I think that's Diddy, but Lanky's got a lot of bananas here, so I should probably bring him back here. I actually kind of wanted to do this, like, as its own thing, so I might... No, I actually, I don't think I can do any of this yet, which is kind of unfortunate, but... Seeing as though we're going to be coming back here anyways later, I'll just get this blueprint douche nozzle and, and be on my way after this. Um, actually, I'll switch to Lanky, because uh, I saw his blueprint douche nozzle on the way up. Because why not? I mean, bananas aren't that hard to come by in this world, but you need a lot of them. Like, a lot, a lot. Uh, that's a Tiny Kong thing. Get in, Funkies! Quick! Before the bats get you! And yes, the bats are like the bees here. Take a look at that. I didn't get the ammo belt? Seriously? I think you can get that in, like, World 4. Like, and it's World 6. What is wrong with me? Um, he's gonna upgrade our shooter. Yeah, that's the sniper. Um, you actually need this for a surprisingly large number of golden bananas in this world, if I remember correctly. Um, I, I can think of at least one off the top of my head, but like, maybe I'm wrong? I don't actually know? I might be on crack or something like that? Cause I'm on crack! Like, every time I say that I'm on crack, I always think of that stupid Wind Waker song that I did for, like, Wind Waker HD. Whoa, it's a shark! That's a dark patch! I'm on crack! Yes, you are! That was, like, I think that was way better than the Gerudo Valley song that I did, because the Gerudo Valley song was almost like a cop-out. It was almost like, this is something I'm wa I want to do, because I did this in my other Zelda LP, or something like that. And I've been thinking, I've been thinking about, like, maybe I want to LP another game alongside this one, and... Like, I, I'm also thinking, like, at the same time, like, that's gonna take forever for me to get through this LP if I do another one alongside it. So I'm kind of, like, trying to shy away from that at the same time. Um, but I'm, I've been kind of thinking about maybe doing, like, a like a Pokemon Platinum LP uh, that I mentioned earlier. What the fuck? I, like, literally, my shots are passing right through this thing. Okay, this is weird. Uh, try it from this angle. Um... Because maybe that'll be better. There we go. That was odd. How many bananas do I have in this world? I gotta have at least... Yeah, 120 already, but no golden bananas. Like, we're... I guess we could be... I guess we could get, a, like, a few golden bananas here, like, right away. But, eh, whatever. It's not a big deal. I'm not too worried about getting golden bananas right away in this world. Because, uh, we need to get, like, 17, I think. 17. 17. 17. And I don't... I don't even know why I reference that all the time. If you know what I'm referencing, it's basically like, it's this episode of South Park where Chef is basically like explaining to the kids like, what is the right age to start having sex? And uh, I think this is Tiny's Dude over here, but I'm not entirely sure. It might be like DK's or someone. Yeah, it is Tiny's Dude. 
Okay, so where do I go down? Um, but yeah, it's like, Chef is basically explaining to the children that, like, the best age to start having sex is 17. Like, no questions asked. Like, that is just the age. And you should not dispute that. And, I don't know, I had sex for the first time when I was 17. Like, it's not... I didn't not feel ready or anything like that. Like, but at the same time, it was, like, kind of terrifying the first time. Because you're like, what do I do? And then you just sort of think back, like, what did they do in this porn that I watched? This is extremely inappropriate to be talking about, but I don't care. But, like, yeah, like, that that's sort of what I thought about the first time that I was having sex. Because I wasn't even thinking about, like, like, the person I was with or anything like that. I was, like, thinking about, am I doing this right? Oh, God. Wow. That was so close to dying. You guys have no idea. <laughs> that was within, like... Two pixels of dying, and that guy's large and in charge. Um, but, but yeah, like that's what I was thinking about the first time that I ever had sex. And I don't know if anybody else was the same way, but I was kind of terrified of doing it wrong or being really awful or something like that. Um, is this like the the area with all the warps? Grab onto the ledge, Lanky Kong. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Except I don't really because I have to go around now because you couldn't grab onto the ledge. Thanks, Lanky Kong. You let me down again. Just good job. 10 out of 10, best Kong ever. Because why not? I don't know. Um, I'm being hard on Mr. Lankysaurus here. And I, I feel like I shouldn't. I don't know. I feel like I should be nicer to him. I should go and get Tiny Kong. I'd, well, fortunately for me, there's like literally a tag barrel right there, like next to a warp. Yeah, but like most of the golden bananas that you get, golden bananas, most of the regular bananas that you get um, in this world are like walking up the castle and walking through the little passageways like I did before where I got like all those uh, chunky and lanky bananas before, like the 30 that they got each. Donkey Kong has like 50 from walking up the castle. Tiny's like up to 50 now. Most of Diddy Kong's bananas are in, like, really weird areas. Like, they're, like, on the tips of the poles and stuff like that. Like, you need the rocket barrel to get to a lot of them. Um, but, I mean, it's annoying, yeah, but, like, at the same time, I, I could see why they did it. Um, let's go and this, get this other move from Mr. Cranky Kong. I have no idea how long this video is right now. Is this water? I really hope so. Super well, big up Buttus Bashium. Oh, my God, I love that move. Mm. But this move, like, the butt stomp is red now, so you can smash red pads, which I don't think we've really seen any of them yet, but, uh, like, every every Kong has, like, a really ridiculous-looking one of those, and in all honesty, I don't think I ever smashed a blue pad with Diddy Kong. Like, I really don't. I'm actually pretty certain that I didn't, because, like, somewhere in the middle there, I sort of lost faith in, in Mr. Diddly Kong. Diddly Kong, Diddy Kong, um, and, uh, he didn't really get a lot of screen time for the last large amount of the LP, I don't, I don't really know, and I don't, I don't really know why, he's just sort of like, I don't see him as terribly useful for, like, a certain number of worlds, um, is this the one where you have to, like, stomp it with Diddy and then run, I think that's the one where you have to stomp it with Diddy and then run in with Tiny, um, which I know there's, like, a Diddy Kong thing in there, D open, there we go. Wow, that was way too close to, like, falling all the way down. Um, but, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that one you have to, like, stomp it with Diddy, and then there's, like, a thing in there for Tiny, too. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Um, I had this dream, like, a couple weeks ago, and I don't, rem I don't really remember it vividly or, like, in huge amount of detail, but, uh, at some point, basically, like, I found, like, a Tiny Port pad, and I teleported, and I ended up inside of that area where I said, like, oh, you have to stomp this with Diddy and then run in with Tiny. Like, I found myself in there, but th there's, like, glassed-off areas in there. Uh, so, like, I found myself in there, but it was like I couldn't get out. And, and yeah, it was it was awful. I don't, I don't really know what to say other than the fact that it was awful. Because I couldn't get out. I was trapped. I was in this cage. Next time on Donkey Kong 64, I'm going to torture myself with the Beaver Bother game because it's like right here. So I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.